This is literally insane. I just made a podcast from zero to finish in like less than an hour without doing any work, without recording any audio, without writing a script, literally nothing. And I did it all in chat GPT. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it truly, you see the shock on my face because I'm pretty much appalled. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can also take any article, any topic, any interest you have out on there, out there on the internet and turn it into a quick and easily digestible podcast for yourself. And it's super simple, super easy, so let's check it out. But before I do so, I wanna show you the reason I got down this rabbit hole because I was actually gonna show you something else first. Uh, this audio journalism app, Curio, can now create personalized episodes using AI. I saw this article and I was super interested to hear how you can now use AI to generate personalized podcasts. So I went over to Rio, I signed up. Uh, they have a free beta that you can start using. You can literally type in any interest that you have. So let's just say, teach me about energies importance in geopolitics. This is something I have no understanding of, but I would like to kind of understand a little bit more because it's obviously important. So Curio is gonna do its thing and we will figure out what it looks like when it comes back. Hi Ryan, I am Rio, your AI powered host on Curio. Today's episode will last 23 minutes and we'll be discussing the importance of energy in geopolitics. The world's energy superpowers are once again calling the shots as Europe grapples with the prospect of a total cutoff of Russian gas. I'm not going to sit here and listen to the whole thing, um, but yeah, it personalized it to me. It basically was like, hey Ryan, check this out. Uh, I do want to show you one more thing about it. So you can see... They got the Financial Times, they got Wall Street Journal. It's kind of interesting how this works. So you can see this, this second one, the end of energy free trade. If you type that into Google, you actually find that it is a Wall Street Journal article out there with audio recording as well. If you play it. Welcome to the new era. Russia's attack on Ukraine is redrawing the world's energy map, ushering in a new era in which the flow of fossil fuels is influenced by geopolitical rivalries as much as supply and demand. So what's interesting about that is Curio is just curating actual audio articles on the internet already. So they're not generating anything new, they're curating it, they're finding it, and they're bringing it to the forefront, uh, which I think is a, it's, 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 it's gonna be a slow approach, right? Because they have a lot of manual processing that they have to do and, you know, they're using actual human uh, recorders to do this, right? Or hu human audio presenters, whatever they're called, human podcasters, I don't know. So it's not gonna be something where you can just type in any question and necessarily get something back. It's all knowledge-based, it's all truth-based to an extent, you know, as, as far as the Wall Street Journal or the Financial Times are being truthful, the podcast that you're gonna get back is gonna be truthful, which I think has a sense of security in it, especially when we know that AI can hallucinate so quickly. So that's Rio. I do want to now show you how you can make your own generated podcast for any topic. Before I get into that, I know one more cliffhanger. If you, if you enjoy what I put forth in this video and you want to access any of the links or any of the services that I showcase, Click that link in the description. It's gonna take you to this everydays.wtf page. This is a journal that I work on with Q Harris and Terry where every day we ask ourselves, what's the future? And then we take detailed notes and share them in a journal format. The purpose of this journal is to help you feel a little bit more empowered by AI instead of being a, uh, so daunting. And so, like I said, if there's anything that you found interesting or wanna kinda of follow along with this journey of of daily notes on the future, click the link in the description. It's gonna take you over to everydays.wtf. We'd love to have you over there. Now let's get to the fun part, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's make a podcast from start to finish using nothing but ChatGPT. 
I'm still just kind of enthralled by this, and it sounds really good. So I got this article in my inbox. I was very interested in it since I had just come back from Tokyo. It's all about how Tokyo became an anti-car paradise and how there's really just not a lot of cars on the road in general. It's, it's kind of freaky for a city of this size. So what I did was I copied this link, brought it over to ChatGPT, and I am currently using the web browsing model it's only available to plus users, but it allows ChatGPT to actually access the web. And so I first asked it, are you able to click on this link? I was kind of curious if it could. Uh, it said it could, and then it started giving me a synopsis. So I was like, great. Now ingest this information and create a podcast transcript describing why people don't drive cars in Tokyo, but and make it engaging to listen to. And so it comes back with this beautiful transcript. It's even got a the 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 production notes uh, which i wasn't super interested in because i'm not going to produce this myself uh, but it's got you know a good i'd say 750 500 to 750 words on this topic and it just basically and basically it had just ingested information from this article and turned it into something a little bit more digestible so with my podcast transcript in hand what you can now do if you are a ChatGPT Plus user is you can actually go to the plugin store, which is going to bring up something like this, and you're going to install this one called SpeechKey. It's the easiest way to convert text to ready to use audio, and you just install it and make sure it's checked up here and I will show you what it is then able to do. So I put my transcript in, in here, and I had it work its thing. Now, my first attempt, it failed. It didn't, didn't actually work wonders. So I kept troubleshooting. So I started a new chat, and I asked it to create a podcast audio using SpeechKey and the following transcript. This time I took out all those production notes. Once again, it failed, unfortunately. It didn't come back with anything. So I thought, maybe it's too long. So I had it create a podcast just off of one paragraph. And lo and behold, it worked. And so it's, this is what it comes back with after about 30 seconds of processing. Great, the audio has been created. You can listen to it here. So let's check it out. Welcome back to Urban Evolution, the podcast where we delve into how cities around the world have adapted and evolved. Today, we're journeying to the heart of Japan to explore a fascinating phenomenon the world's largest city that has declared war on cars. Yes, we're talking about Tokyo, the city that has managed to shift gears and become a pedestrian's paradise. I mean, come on. That sounds incredible. I mean, it doesn't sound like an AI at all. And it's beautifully written. Like, it sounds exactly like a podcast that you might actually tune into. So it worked. So I was like, okay, so maybe I just need to remove all the paragraph spaces. And so what do I do? Have it create a podcast using the speech key plugin and the following transcript. And I just took out all of the paragraphs, all of the, the extra spaces. And bada bing, bada boom. Looky here. Welcome back to Urban Evolution. Link of the future is notably absent of one common urban soundtrack, traffic noise. Why, you ask? Because there are simply so few cars. In fact, among all the wealthy cities. So, yeah effectively using this speech key plugin which is pretty impressive i was able to generate this podcast and now what you can even do from there you can download it super simple you got to download you can bring it over to your favorite music player you can upload it to you know apple music and now you got it in there i mean it's pretty pretty impressive right now I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm not a ChatGPT Plus user. I don't have access to these plugins. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's say you don't. What else could you do? Let's say you want to troubleshoot still. So what I would do is I would take that script that you created with ChatGPT, and you could bring it over to a service like Blogcast. There's another one, Voice Booking. Murph.ai is also another one. I actually even asked ChatGPT what are what are some uh, AI tools that can turn a script into a podcast audio, and it came back with these six tools, all of which 
can help in some capacity to convert the text into audio. You know, you're going to take your transcript, copy it, bring it over here. Now this particular one, voice booking, has a limit on how many words. You can only use a thousand words at a time, or a thousand characters maybe that is. I don't know. And then you just generate it. Welcome back to Urban Evolution, the podcast where we delve into how cities around the world have adapted and evolved. Today, we're journeying to the heart of Japan to explore a fascinating... So voice booking has a couple different voice actors. So let's see what Robert sounds like. Welcome back to Urban Evolution, the podcast where we delve into how cities around the world have adapted and evolved. So that's voice booking. I did the same thing with Blogcast. To explore a fascinating phenomenon, the world's largest city that has declared war on cars. Now call me crazy, but I actually think that the speech key sounds the best out of all of these. I mean... In the world, Tokyo has the lowest car usage. Just 12% of... To me, that sounds way more mixed and mastered, first of all. It sounds a little bit less robotic. His, his intonation and his pace is a little bit more natural. So I'm going to stick to speech key, but you know, if you don't have chat GPT plus and you, you want to try making your own podcasts out of articles or whatever, um, you know, use some of these tools They're I will tell you, they're not, they're not free. You get a, you get a couple free trial test runs, but then they do charge you a pretty penny to continue using them. Uh, but there's enough of them out there where you could just probably continuously do free trials uh, and, and, and you know splice things together and put things put things into motion. But overall, this is pretty mind blowing and appalling to me. I mean, the fact that I was able to take an article that was 15 minutes long of a read that I didn't necessarily want to read, I, I read it anyways, but take that link, bring it over to ChatGPT have it read that article, ingest that information, and rewrite it as if it were a world-class podcast host, then take that transcript and with another plugin that's in ChatGPT, create a finished podcast audio recording that I can now you know, bring over to Apple Music or iTunes or whatever and just plug it in and listen. I mean, that's that's revolutionary. I mean, you now basically can have not only AI narrate anything that you're interested in learning about, but it can generate its own perspective. So now if you want to add a twist to it, you know, I, I could have I could have had that transcript generated as if it were, you know, Eddie Murphy, you know, uh, and, and have it put jokes in there. Uh, if if I wanted to, you know, add a little bit of flavoring to this podcast, like, you know, we, we know that you can have fun in many different ways with ChatGPT and, and mix it up. And I think that that's, that's what you can do here now is you can take anything that you want to learn about, have ChatGPT help you learn it, and now turn it into audio so you don't have to read, you know, because that's kind of one of the more daunting things about the ChatGPT interface is you got to read so much, right? You know, everything is writing and reading, but with SpeechKey, you know, it's now in an audio digestible format, which I can download, I can share online. To me, SpeechKey as a plugin, it's a go. It's definitely a go. But anyways, to wrap this all up, uh, like I said, hit the link down in the description. It'll take you over to everydays.wtf where it'll have all of the links I showed and all of the different tools I showed here so you can try this for yourself and, you know, just... Have fun in a new way. Have fun learning in a new way uh, as, as an AI tutor speaking to you. So that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed, as always, would love if you hit the subscribe button and the like button as well. But most importantly, hit that everydays.wtf link down below and just follow along with this daily journey of figuring out what's going on with AI and different techs and different tools that are at our disposal. So until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.